Here. Anybody here in kindergarten? I, I, I've got two stories today about kindergarten kids that witnessed. One of them's name was Samuel. His father was a lay preacher and would go around to different churches and preach. And Samuel decided that he wanted to preach too. But since Samuel was only five years old, his dad didn't think that that would work too well. He said, you need, to be, you need to be grown up before you can preach. But Samuel didn't think so, and so one day in front of Walmart, he started just talking and reciting all his memory verses. All the Bible verses that he memorized at church. And he started all talking like this, you know, and nobody would listen. And so then he began to talk a little bit louder and recite his Bible verses, and People began to pay a little bit more attention, and he thought that was working pretty good. So then he started just shouting them out, so that everybody could hear the Bible text that he had memorized. And then a man came up to him, and he sort of making fun of Samuel. He said, "Samuel, I'll bet you don't even know what God looks like. How do you know there's a God if you don't know what He looks like?" And Samuel looked at him, and he turned around, and he looked at the shore behind him. And he said, see that building? The man said, yes. I don't know what the builder of that building looks like, but I know there was one. <laughs> the other person I want to tell you about, his name was Antonio. Antonio. Antonio's kindergarten teacher was trying to put together this special presentation for Earth Day when they're, when they're celebrating, you know, planning on the how to help the ecology and help the Earth. And she says, now, students, I want you to cut out pictures from magazines. I want three things on your picture showing things that we can do to help the Earth. And Antonio turned in his little painting, their little picture. He had a picture of some kids taking up hands in the park. And he had a picture of a bunch of people standing around holding hands together. And he had a picture of Jesus. Now he didn't say this was a picture of Jesus. He just cut out a picture of this man in a white robe and put it on his painting, on his uh, picture and turned it into his teacher. And his teacher looked at it and said, no, Antonio, we're trying to get things that help the earth. Well, Antonio sort of thought that did, but his teacher wouldn't allow him to do that, so he took the poster home and he brought it back the next day, and this time he showed a man just kneeling down with his hand upraised. Well, the next day was Earth Day, and all the parents were coming, and the teacher didn't have time to reject this assignment. And so she took it, and the next day when everybody came there, there were 80 pictures up on the walls of all the different students, the things they could do on Earth Day, and all looked, you know, fairly the same except for Antonio, and Antonio had part of the page, seeing their picture, folded over, so they couldn't see, nobody could see this man with his hands up raised to heaven. And Antonio was very unhappy. And he complained to the teacher, and his parents were unhappy too, and they complained to the teacher. As a matter of fact, they sued the school district. But the judge that heard the case says, no, the school has a right to decide what it'll show and what it won't. And so he ruled against them. They went to an appeals court, and the appeals court overthrew the judge's decision. Said the judge had to consider more things. And so the judge said, no, you don't have, you know, we have to have a separation of church and state. But the appeals court says, no, this, they asked for his opinion of what would help save the earth. And Antonio said that. And so they overthrew the judge's decision again. Well, it went back to the judge the third time, and I was going to go soon, back to the judge the third time for him to consider this case. But so far, this has made world news all over the world, all over the nation, all over the world. Everybody knows about Antonio Peck and his picture and what the school district decided. So he's witnessing too. How many of you think that that judge ought to get a copy of Liberty Magazine? <laughs> would you guys like to witness too? Yeah. You think you would? 
well, I've got some papers here. I'd like you to each take one and go out and give it to somebody here in the, here in the church. Do you think you can do that? Yeah. Oh, this one is in Spanish. Do you think you can find somebody here in Spanish to give that to? Here, go ahead. <laughs> if you want one, take it and go out and give it to somebody in the church here. Go ahead.